what this new Hansen study does is build on what we've been realizing already around Greenland and the Canadian Arctic is the increasing discharge of freshwater is accumulating in the North Atlantic. And that's possible because the Gulf Stream presents a kind of a wall that freshwater can't mix south of. In the last century, there's been more than 9,000 cubic kilometers of freshwater discharged into the North Atlantic from just Greenland. Uh, Canada, again, is another significant source here. This appears to be contributing to this record cold pool that's formed in the North Atlantic. Uh, it, we've been observing that recently. And we have record cold sea surface temperatures at a time when the globe is at record high. So this cold uh, relative to the, the warm waters to the south produces in the atmosphere what we call baroclinic instability. It strengthens storms. And it's no coincidence that the storms that affected the UK last December, producing record-setting rainfall and flooding in Ireland, that, that this was part of uh, the connection of, of Greenland and, and Canadian Arctic melting of ice with, with the, the weather impacts on, on northwestern Europe. In Hansen's new study, they simulate this effect. They, they flood the North Atlantic with a, a rapidly increasing uh, discharge of fresh water from Greenland melting, basically what we expect. And, and in this model, it produces a strengthening of winds. There's also the possibility with climate change that the North Atlantic storm track displaces northward. And that's consistent with the drying of the Mediterranean. So the, the impacts of Arctic ice melt, it's really not just sea level rise, that's going to be an increasing problem with time. It's the disruption of the North Atlantic Ocean circulation and apparently the effects that that has on the storminess of, of the North Atlantic with impacts that we're already feeling now.